how are possibilities in emptiness being manifested so he said there is potential and it appears and so on which is very good answer but not as good as i was expecting so again let us discuss if anybody wants one or two lines is there any process behind the manifestation of possibilities in emptiness rahul is saying possibilities appear as vibrations that are cycling in nature via senses meaningful experience yes you can call it a mechanism this is happening but as we know as we all know that this uh, vibrations are only uh, hypothetical you will never see the vibrations you only experience things the illusion yes rajiv has the correct answer nothing is manifested in reality it is just appearances yet there are assumed models of how this appearance may be appearing exactly this is what i was expecting this is the answer i was expecting very good answer by rajiv yes rajit also has a very good answer yeah manifestation might mean a sort of embodiment while we know it has no substantial reality so the question is a trick question it is telling you that you know something is being manifested now tell me how it is manifested and the right answer is given here by these three people very good answer and in one line you can say emptiness never becomes anything else it remains emptiness nothing is manifested like the waves on the water we can see the waves yes there are waves you see it will produce a phenomena if you put a sensor there it is going to produce a perception some kind but uh, <laughs> is something getting manifested there is the water becoming something else is the water becoming cat and dog and creatures and humans and your wife and your husband and children no it is emptiness only it is water only so there is only an appearance that something is manifesting but it is so transitory and illusory that it escapes quickly emptiness is me i am only reality i am the only thing that is present the essence is me and whatever is seen is actually not present it is illusion it is maya so the possibility is only possibility of fakeness not of reality the reality will never change the truth will never change that is the characteristic of the truth never changes so emptiness is the truth it never changes into anything so very mysterious and now you can see it is beyond our intellect now there is no need to engage intellect here after knowing this because the intellect is going to produce wrong answers the intelligence in us is actually based on illusion the reality cannot be known by intelligence the intellect cannot know what i am the brahman or the existence itself cannot be known you can be it which you already are you see so there is no need to do anything more than that only drop your assumptions that something is getting manifested that the world is real the body is real or this person is real that that much can be known which is a negative knowledge that much can be dropped and the play is happening so let it happen the play is also me so a very interesting thing is happening <laughs> we we say that emptiness is boring there is nothing there complete silence witnessing that is also blissful but the drama that is happening the violence that is happening in emptiness is tremendous the play is tremendous not even one inch not even one millimeter of the existence is free of this drama it's fully occupied there is no place left you know metaphorically poetically speaking because we don't have the language to describe it no corner of this emptiness is left empty <laughs> because of this drama yet there is nothing so being so mysterious it is the most interesting thing the whole the existence is the most interesting thing although nothing is known about it so that which is not known becomes most interesting isn't it as soon as you know that thing becomes boring less is saying it has just been said that there, there is not even a centimeter or millimeter in the entire existence which is not drama does that also mean that the illusion drama flux flux etc is endless yes <laughs> it is also endless because end and start implies time you see but time is a part of the drama the drama is not happening in time the time is a concept derived out of change and the change can happen 
in any possible way a lot of possibilities so there there is a lot of flexibility in what is time calling what is time so just like if you sleep for 5 minutes the uh, in the dream in the experience of the dream 5 years can pass it is possible so that makes it very very clear that the perception of the time or the whatever you call as experience of the time is only illusory it does not even appear it is assumed that 5 years must have passed by the situations by the events that that happened so is there a time now no and this is our waking state experience also you see if you are waiting for somebody the time goes very slowly and uh, if you are doing something interesting well it simply passes without noticing so it is totally a creation of the mind time so there is no beginning there is no end there is no time also that is why the illusion or the drama the moment in the existence is also eternal and since it is non local that means all happening at once at one place or no place so you see it's very difficult to utilize our intellect which is based on space and time which is based on our waking state experiences you know of objects and bodies and people and thoughts so very difficult to apply this kind of intelligence this kind this kind of ability which is totally based which is very narrow which is very limited to something which is the whole which is the biggest which is the simplest actually you will never end and so the experience will also never end the experiencer then you can say poetically <laughs> because it's not totally right to say it but uh, the experiencer then creates as much time as it wants in the existence it can create trillions and trillions of years in flash in an instant and once all these trillions of years have passed it sees that nothing no time has passed so the existence is not in time the time is in an existence and that should make everything clear that much can be known this is actually a, a fact in case of memory also at the level of memory which is manifestation or what we call as the creation the layered structure there also you can create any amount of time actually it can be manipulated you can reverse the change if you want so these are the powers that some people have so it can go forward it can go backward it can go in circle and that's all is happening not only the drama is endless the variety in the drama is also endless this is saying it reminds me of kali yuga our present timeline but it is part of the cycle also yes yes what are we experiencing is actually a cyclic time although it can be anything but in this collective hallucination we are experiencing a cyclic time which means it goes in cycles same thing repeats again and again and again slight variations so this will be over nothing to worry the new ages they start and then they all they are also over all there is no necessity to remain in this cycle you can uh, transcend the y- yug uh, what you call this kind of system cyclic system but as long as there is the human incarnation you are stuck with this system right now for an average seeker the only way to avoid the dark parts of the cycle is to cultivate um, enough awareness so that your causal body can detect arrival of a dark cycle and can go into a sleep state a hibernating state and does not incarnate it is the exactly the same behavior shown by many many animals that when there is a time of uh, dryness or too much cold then they <laughs> go down in the ground they dig themselves down and they do not come up till the right time is there till the sense a change in the environment and they come out they eat reproduce and they go back again this will be the activity of an advanced seeker that cultivate enough sensitivity so that you can detect the arrival of uh, unfavorable time and do not appear in the world when this is happening now some people are going to laugh at these things you are covered <laughs> you are escaping and that which must happen you know because there will be consequences of these things but uh, and then you don't want to face it do, you don't want to come and help others here so there is another view point that 
you relax in the times of plenty that means the good times you sleep that time and then you come back when there is big disturbance here when there is too much darkness too much ignorance there you are needed and that is called the bodhisattva vritti the guru is like that an average seeker may want to avoid this kind of time because you know not very good time but the guru will become very active during these times when his services are needed most so in both cases you need to cultivate a sensitivity towards the kind of time and only those who have experienced many yugas will be able to do this those who have just incarnated in two or three cycles you see they won't have the concept also but those who are incarnating since many yugas they will finally evolve enough to sense the changes while being in the causal state or by while being in the some other state you know higher state somewhere and they can decide then what to do the guru has no option <laughs> he usually comes back whatever kind of time it is he comes back for the harvest <laughs>